Hey guys, today we're going to be taking apart an HP NV5055 printer. Um, the purpose of the video is just to show you how to get inside of the printer and replace the parts that you need. Uh, we're going to start with the ones that come off first, and then we're going to go deeper and we're going to take it fully apart. Um, just a heads up, make sure if you're doing something, take pictures as you go, um, since uh, we will not be putting this video back, back together. So um, keep that in mind when you're working on your printer um, but if you're just here for entertainment and to see how things work how how it's constructed stay with us and check it out and have fun all right we'll uh, start by I turn the printer on we're gonna open the top let the carrier slide to the middle and then we're going to unplug it that will give us the ability to move this back and forth when we're replacing more parts in here removing parts in here so it's a pretty simple printer just like many others, uh, we're going to be using a size T10, um, star-shaped, here you go, star-shaped um, screwdriver tip. So it's a Torx size 10. That's what the printer looks like when we open it up. And we're going to get started by removing this latch right here, the support on this side. We're just going to use our screwdriver for that. Put, put the screwdriver in here and then we're going to push it against that support uh, that lever right there there we go we have that open and then we have to make sure we um, unlatch this piece right here and now we can kind of have the printer be opened up a little bit more um, now we're going to go through the screws in here we're going to have one two three four actually five six seven screws but just not to get ahead of ourselves if you're just replacing the screen you just need to remove this screw right here and that's how you remove the screen so we have this screw removed and we're just going to lift the, move the screen to the right so we're just gonna push it to the right and remove it and the wire is right here we disconnect it to put it back in just gonna make sure you connect it the proper way and just slide it and it doesn't need clamping like this for example so this is our screen and we're gonna remove six more screws all around Get all the screws out. What we do now is just put a flathead screwdriver right here and unlatch this here. This is the side, just kind of removes like this in order to free this piece right here. And like so. Same thing on this side. how we remove the top I mean the cover right here sorry before we get going we need to remove this one as the paper jam cover Just, sorry it wasn't in the picture so it's in there now but to remove it you press it in and remove it that way so let's continue with this cover here just gonna lift it up Be careful with the wiring right here you just take it out like that have our cover off and that's what the printer looks like inside in order to remove the main paper tray this one here 
it's simple it's just something that i skipped in the beginning it can be removed replaced without of course going into the printer so this one it has just one screw on there that has a rail needs to be removed and then uh we can just pull it out so that's something that we'll get to afterward on with the top portion here so now since we have this opened the top portion of the printer which includes the scanner in this case doesn't include the control panel or anything like that so or the feeder it's this is the wire right here for the uh for the scanner we're going to disconnect that and that's all we have is just that scanner wire we will get inside of this unit in just a little bit so now we have the power supply right here to remove that we just lift it up and disconnect it here we go um let's see here so then to remove the main board we can get easier access over here we'll get to that part later um by just pushing these down we can remove these sides right here so in order to do that we can just pick these clamps up right here um, like clips it's clipped in here it's not screwed in or anything at this point and um, it should be able to just remove so just press down here Kind of the same thing here, and it just removes. This is the side. That. We have a better access to the main board right here, so we're just going to do the same thing to this side. You can see it's just clipped in here, it's pretty simple. Not want to force anything it just basically clipped in and we're all good okay um since we're at it let's just get to this port uh, part right here real quick this is the paper tray like i said we're just going to remove this screw right here it gives us the ability to remove the tray so it gets stuck there we just remove the rail and pull out the tray This is the bottom of the printer, pretty simple. Okay. So now we can get back to the main board. To remove that one, we're going to remove this screw right here. And you don't actually have to remove that screw, you can remove just this one. And that will release your main board. So when you have that out, so with the um, we got we disconnected all the um, all the wires there. This is the main board for this printer. You can see the part numbers on this sticker. This is the wireless card back side of it the usb port okay. to remove the timing strip i'm just going to push it to the right and remove it here unlatch it then bring it this way when you put it back make sure you put it in the correct slot you can see how it goes in there it has to slide in the proper area in order for the printer to sense where the carrier is and now here we can either remove the screw right here or we can just unlatch um, if you don't want to go through removing all the screws you can just unlatch it with that being there just twisted a little bit so this is our timing strip okay now we have the 
this front paper output tray. There's two screws that hold it. Now we can just remove it. So this is the output tray assembly. Okay, um, to get to the carrier unit, we're just going to remove this plastic piece right here. Two screws. Um, there's springs on both sides that we're going to remove. I'm just going to use something like this here. On latch it. You can use a flathead screwdriver, for example. Or you can just remove it from here, too. So, either way works, just whichever is easier. Oops. So, I got that spring off. Now, this one. And now we have this that we need to remove. I'm sorry, I forgot what they're called. But they're like half round, like a U-shaped. So that, I'll show you on this side, I removed it on this. You can see it installed on the rod still. Is this round clip kind of. This is what I'm talking about. Sorry, I wasn't able to catch that, but when, when you do the repair, make sure you catch it um, because you need to put that back. Um, and then we're going to slide it this way. Make sure you don't lose the parts on this side. Um, so we're just going to slide the rod over. Now it's released from the rod, and then we're going to release it from the um, motor. With this belt there we go so the belt is attached to the back then we have the wiring right here Just carefully remove it there we go That's our carrier unit right here. Let's remove this rod. <clears throat> so pretty much it's already taken apart. I'll just keep on going. I'll remove this um, assembly here. Don't even know what it's called, but like I said, if we're removing everything, let's just remove everything. But at this point, that's pretty much as far as you'll need to go for any part replacements that you need, that we usually need the attention. Um, but I guess let's just keep going. See where it takes us. It has the motor for the mechanism here, for this carrier mechanism. Um, this is the motor for the drive belt that goes, takes the carrier back, the end back and forth. We got here. That's released. So we got this piece free up. There we go. And now, what else do we got here? This is all ready to go. All these rollers. So it's must be the rollers that pull the paper through. Um. 
<clears throat> Not sure what I released there. I'm sure, I did release something, so. sort of sensor and a motor also what do we have this is supposed to come out it's just a gear assembly these are the rollers that we spoke about in the other video about cleaning them I need to of course take anything apart to get to let's try the back side here let's remove all these screws let's see if we can fully disassemble this printer and um, you can skip over a, a minute um, in order to get to the scanner. I'll show you how to get inside of the scanner unit in just a second. Kind of forgot about that, but something that we'll get to. Um, I was just trying to see how we can remove the roller here and if it's removable just by so we got this board here, um, let's see, to remove this, push that in, let me look from the inside, oh, can't see any, so it's pretty much from out here, the gears are holding that, let's see if we can just remove those. sure how to do that whenever I find that out I'll do a separate video on the roller replacement for these models I right now I do not know how to do that I haven't tried it I haven't sold any of those so that's pretty much what you get <laughs> um, and it's amazing how a small piece like this can just do so much work print so much stuff and it's just a great printer um, so in order to get to the scanner here I'll show you um, this is the scanner unit, the contact image sensor that we need to get to. Uh, we're going to remove screws here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven screws removed and then there's um, eight. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine screws. So, and then there's these on each side. There's a clip right here and another right here. So, we just need to push it back. And this one as well. You can just do it with the screwdriver as well. And now we can lift this unit. gives us access to the inside of the scanner so if you're replacing it you can just disconnect it right here and put a new one in make sure when you put it back in make sure there's no dust in here or anything like that um, but if you're replacing with the wire usually just go carefully here not to damage the wire This is our scanner unit right here. So thank you guys for watching. This is as far as we'll go. The whole printer is taken apart. This is the bottom. The middle piece that was here. And this is the top. So we'll make sure to recycle these things and put parts to good use. In any case, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day. Thank you.